The Komatsu PC120 and 150-5 excavators require minimal maintenance to keep operating continually and profitably. In this video you will see the maintenance points for each machine by system. We will show you the level checks, fill ports, drain ports, strainers, and filters. Finally, you will see how to make the minor adjustments needed to account for wear. The types of fluids and their change intervals will depend on climate and operating conditions. Always check the operation and maintenance manual for your machine to select the proper fluids. The engine air filter and indicator is in the compartment behind the operator's cab. A red band will appear in the indicator when the air cleaner is plugged. Reset the indicator by pushing the button on the end. Properly operating engine coolant systems build pressure under the radiator cap. Be sure the engine has cooled and the pressure on the radiator cap has been vented before performing any work on the coolant system. An automotive type fluid recovery tank is located in front of the hydraulic oil cooler. The upper and lower levels for the coolant system are marked on the tank. The coolant drain valve is accessible from under the house directly under the radiator. The PC120-5 holds about 4 gallons of coolant. The PC150 holds about 5.5 gallons. The outside of the radiator and the hydraulic oil cooler needs to be cleaned periodically to ensure adequate airflow. You can blow it out with air pressure or use a pressure washer with a wide angle nozzle. The batteries are located inside the radiator compartment door. Be sure to check the terminal ends for tightness and corrosion. This will help prevent starting problems when the weather gets cold. The fluid in the battery cell should cover the plates completely. The engine oil should be checked with the engine off and the oil cold. Oil can be added to the engines through the fill cap on the valve cover. The engine oil filter is to the left of the dipstick on the side of the block. The engine oil drain plug can be removed by using a 7 8 inch socket. The engine in the PC120-5 holds about 3 gallons of oil. The PC150-5 holds about 4.5 gallons. The fuel tank fill cap is on top of the tank. A plastic strainer is just under the cap and can be removed just by picking it out. The fuel tank has a sediment drain valve on the bottom of the tank. Both the PC120 and the PC150-5 hold about 60 gallons of fuel. The fuel transfer pump has a strainer in the banjo bolt at the inlet. Remove the banjo bolt with a three-quarter inch wrench or socket. The strainer can then be removed from the end of the bolt and cleaned. When changing the fuel filter, coat the rubber seal with oil before installing it. This will make it easier to remove next time it is serviced. To bleed air from the system, loosen the outlet fitting on the fuel filter housing with a 7 8 inch wrench. Pump the hand pump until fuel comes out the fitting. Retighten the fitting and the hand wheel of the transfer pump before starting the engine.
Komatsu uses an oil-filled damper case between the engine and pump. The level plug is in front of and below the pump. Remove the plug with a 532nd inch square socket to check the level. To add oil to the case on the PC120-5, remove the level plug and add fluid through the fill plug till it comes out the level plug hole. The fill and breather plug on the PC150-5 is at the top of the damper case. The damper case in both machines hold about one pint. The bucket and stick cylinder should be retracted and the boom lowered to the ground level with the machine to check the hydraulic oil. The level can be seen in the sight gauge on the tank. Always vent the pressure from the hydraulic tank before adding fluid or working on the hydraulic system. The hydraulic oil filter is under the three bolt cover on top of the tank. On top of the filter is a spring, bypass valve, and strainer basket. When reassembling, install the new filter, new cover o-ring, strainer basket, bypass valve, and spring. The suction strainer is under the cover with the fill cap on it. After removing the cover, you will see a tube with a spring in it. Remove the spring and set it aside. Remove the strainer by pulling up on the tube. Inspect it for brass or steel particles. Also make sure there's an O-ring at the outlet side of the strainer before reinstalling it. The hydraulic tank drain plug is directly under the tank. The PC120-5 holds about 26 gallons. The PC150-5 holds approximately 35 gallons. The swing machinery case is just behind the boom foot. The dipstick is attached to the fill tube cap. A vent plug is provided for releasing air trapped in the case when filling. The drain plug is accessible from under the house. The swing machinery in both machines holds about one gallon of oil. The swing pinion gear runs in grease. A cover beneath the boom foot has to be removed to check the level. The grease in the PC120-5 should be at least one eighth of an inch deep. It should be at least nine sixteenths of an inch deep in the PC150-5. The swing bearing has four fittings equally spaced around its circumference. Put three or four pumps into each fitting and then swing the house in each direction to distribute the grease evenly throughout the bearing. The final drive levels on the PC120-5 can be checked by turning the final drive till the word oil on the front cover is at its highest point. This will also put the drain plug at the lowest point for changing the oil when needed. The PC150-5 uses a larger final that has a different cover. Turn the final till the words on the cover can be read. The finals on both size machines hold about one gallon of oil. <laughs> Loosen the alternator mount bolts and move the alternator away from the center of the engine to tighten the fan belts. Tighten the upper bolt first while holding the alternator. Then tighten the lower bolt. Adjustment of the track is measured by first lifting the track frame with the implements then measuring the sag at the middle of the track frame. The measurement should be about 10 inches between the bottom of the pad and track frame. A grease gun is used to tighten the track. 
To loosen the track, the grease fitting can be turned counterclockwise. The adjuster has extremely high pressure inside it, so never loosen the fitting more than one full turn. All the working implements of these machines use grease for lubrication and have a grease fitting for each joint. These include the boom foot, both ends of the boom cylinders, both ends of the stick cylinder, the boom to stick joint, both ends of the bucket cylinder, all the moving joints of the bucket tilt linkage and the bucket to stick pin. You have seen the checkpoints and procedures for maintaining your machine. By following the maintenance schedule in your operation and maintenance manual, you can keep your machine operating efficiently for many thousands of hours.